you know how when you work out and you like, hey, I got a goal in mind today. When I go work out, I'm going to hit this weight and I'm going to do this many reps at that certain weight. And you get to the gym or if you work out at home, wherever, and you're almost there and you got just a couple more reps to go. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh. Man, I don't know if I could do this. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. My body it just is telling me no. But then to to get to your goal, you try to make one final push. And that's exactly what it seems like the Ravens are trying to do, according to this report. On a day where a lot of people, they're not working. A lot of people have the day off. Uh, the Ravens said, no, 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 no. We're not taking today off because we have a goal in mind that we want to make one final push to achieve, and that is getting Lamar Jackson signed. The report from Jacina Anderson said, countdown to the Lamar Jackson contract decision. Will any more guaranteed money get added to the deal? Steve Bashotti would never green light a Deshaun Watson style fully guaranteed deal at all. And that part, of course, no surprise there. Uh, Steve Bashotti publicly came out and talked about how he wasn't feeling uh, what the Browns did with that whole Deshaun Watson deal because it made it harder for everybody else. But anyway, um, Jackson, Lamar Jackson, has a strong argument for more. Uh, my understanding is an improved offer is out. Uh, so Josina Anderson is saying that the Ravens have improved uh, whatever their previous offer uh, to Lamar Jackson was so whether it's more guaranteed money whether it's more overall money the details still don't know still don't know we don't know um, and she also said meanwhile the Ravens practice today but their heavy installation practice starts Wednesday so I wonder if that's her way of saying that that you know the Lamar Jackson deadline that he talked about uh, when he was asked in a presser on August 13th um, I wonder if that's her way of saying like maybe that's the hard deadline right there uh, when they do the heavy installation practice, not just the basic practice that they'll be doing today uh, and probably tomorrow. Anyway, she also said as the regular season approaches, so does the risk with playing all out. Many players have bet on themselves and won. See Kirk Cousins. It will be fascinating to watch what Lamar does. And that's true. I mean. Any, anything that he's doing with this whole thing, uh, it certainly is uh, fascinating just to watch it all play out um, because it could go so many different ways um, and it could go the route. Hey, they come to a contract agreement and it's like, all right, cool, let's ride. It could be like, OK, they're not going to come to a contract agreement and Lamar just going to play out this last year. Then it's like, OK, let's ride. Uh, and then it could go on to next year and then it could get a little franchise taggy. We'll see what happens with that. But either way, they still going to rise. So we're going to see what happens with that, with this whole ordeal. But before I let you go, I got to give a special shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean patrons. Uh, that is Graylin M and Nasir S. Uh, and also, got to also give a shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean channel members. Uh, that is Ty Too Wavy. I like that name, Ty Too Wavy. Lou Kim, who've been supporting for a long time. So I appreciate it. Uh, YOLO22 and Ishmael G. I uh, appreciate all y'all. Shout out to the patrons. Shout out to all the channel members. Thank you to everybody that's showing extra support. If you want to find out how you can become either one, uh, you can check right down below in the description. Everything is all there. But something that's also all here, a couple of questions that we got um, about Lamar Jackson and that whole contract situation. You already know what time it is. Anyway, first question came from my boy, Philip L. He said, ever since the Watson contract took place, four more QBs have received extensions. Last one was Wilson, who received 165 mil guaranteed, which makes him the second highest paid player at 49 mil per year because the owners of the 31 other franchises in the league, other than Cleveland, aren't willing to give 75 to 100% guaranteed contracts. Do you believe Lamar understands this? Of course he does. Of course he does, uh, because a lot of fans won't agree with me. But if Lamar plays out the next two years and declines to sign, he'll be traded for value by 2024. Um, I, I don't even think it would really take that long uh, if the Ravens did. If, if, if Lamar declined to sign, I don't think the Ravens would even be like, all right, no, we're going to franchise tag you again. I, I think that they would actually try to get uh, those picks like right away for Lamar. 
Um, if he told them, like, if it got to franchise tag, this is just my opinion, too. If it got to franchise tag time and Lamar told them they did, he didn't want to sign and they, they like, had kept trying to give offer after offer after offer, then I, I think they would be like, you know what? Hey, no, we're we, we not going to do it. And I think they would just trade him. I really do. I wouldn't want them to, of course, but I think that's uh, what would happen. Um, so anyway, next uh, question. Well, I guess it's a comment. Came from the newest patron, uh, Graylin. Uh, he said he been him and his girlfriend. Uh, they've been watching the videos for two years. Oh, and he's finally a patron. Oh, I appreciate that, Graylin. Thank you. So shout out to you. Shout out to your girl. Appreciate the both of y'all, man. Thank you. Uh, next question came from my guy Kev Pro. He said, "Hey, fam, I appreciate the channel and all the good videos. Keep up the amazing work." I definitely wouldn't call it amazing. It's all right, but it ain't amazing. Y'all are amazing, though, but me, no. Uh, he said, do you think we will surprise a lot of people and throw the ball a lot more this season? Can you see us having three 1,000-yard uh, wide, wide receivers or tight ends? Uh, I think Bateman, Andrews, and likely can all hit 1K. Lamar going to throw for 4K and run for 1K. Um, it, it all depends. It all depends. Um, something that could make a big difference, and I'm not even joking, uh, is obviously Yak. But then less drops, less drops. Like with Hollywood, boy, Hollywood, he got over a thousand, and then he he left a lot of yards out there too. But we know with Hollywood in stride, he could be a yak guy. But you just throw him the ball, and he got to get yak after that. That that wasn't really his forte. That wasn't really his thing. Um, so if you have somebody that you can hit him in stride, but obviously every every pass ain't gonna be in stride. Some passes, the receivers or tight ends, they're going to have to fight for more yards. They're going to have to get it on their own. So if you got somebody that can do that or somebody's that can do that, that can help increase their, their yard, yardage total. Uh, and it can help increase Lamar's yardage total as well. Andrews, I think for sure. Bateman, I think he'll get it as well. Now, a third guy, too. And you said likely. Oh, man, that, that would be something. I know that whole little the report came out yesterday that likely is going to be considered the Ravens' third receiving option. We'll see. Um, my, my prediction for likely this year was like 600 some yards, maybe six, 650, uh, and like, but the, the touchdowns would be high, like seven, eight touchdowns, something like that. But Hey, I would love, 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 uh, to be wrong about all of that. Um, and then the last question from a patron came from my guy, Raven pride. He said, Hey buddy, how's it going? Been a while since I hit you up. Hope everything, including everyone at team, keep a clean family is doing well. I just so happen to watch some of the streams to catch up on things. And I want to respond to the one uh, which people who were trying to joke you and complain about the channel. Easy fix. Don't watch. <laughs> hey, you, you right. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's all people got to say. Hey, don't watch. Don't like, don't watch. Don't like, don't watch. So you're right. He said, we here at Team Keep It Clean talk about everything in life to help others cope with anything that's going on in life. We are a close group of individuals who thank you for all that you do to help keep us up to date with all Ravens news and other things that go on around the NFL. Uh, with that being said, my brother, remember when the Ravens won their first Super Bowl? What did Shea Shannon Sharp say? Uh, and all you haters eat crow. <laughs> Love you, brother. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got a man. All right, next question on this episode of uh, Update with the Ravens and questions from y'all came from my guy, Jamel. All uh, right, he said, what's going on, fam? I hope all is well. It's been a while. I got a few questions. Number one, are you going to the first home game against the Miami Dolphins? I will be in the building. Uh, me, no. Uh, I was originally planning on doing it, but then one of our friends, they having a wedding shower, so no, I'm not going to be there, unfortunately. I, I, that is the one game, the one game that i was looking forward to going um but it's it's all good anyway uh he said too do you think the ravens have the miami game circled on their calendar because of how badly they struggled against their defensive strategy last year no i don't uh do you think the great that greg roman can scheme up a game plan that will have us successful this time around uh keep up the good work and much appreciated i don't even think it's a oh man yeah we, we got to circle that miami game because of how they did us last year last year was last year 
Everybody knows last year was last year. Um, and Miami Dolphins, they haven't been this team that's been like, all right, hey, we whooped the Dolphins last year. It ain't been a bunch of their players like running their mouths and everything like that. Now, the Bengals, on the other hand. Now, these last two questions on this episode uh, take a different kind of approach. And let's listen to the titles of them. The first one came from Noctifer. He said, what if Lamar leaves? Uh, dear Engraven, I hope this email finds you and your family in good health. With all this talk about Lamar and his contract, let's have some fun speculating. If Lamar leaves, which players do you see following him to wherever he goes? Oof. Ooh, I know I would rather play with Lamar for a little less money than staying put. Oh, okay, I see. He, so he's taking the player's point of view. Like, he would rather go where Lamar goes and, and maybe take less money. Hey, maybe you can get more money. Who knows? Uh, than stay put without Lamar. Keep up the good and entertaining work. Appreciate it, man. Um, I will say Hollywood, but, but he's already gone. Uh, uh, Mark Andrews, he already locked in. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I really can't think of anybody like off the top of my head. Um, but hey, if I would, not, I would love to see Lamar in a more pass heavy scheme. I would love to see that. And hey, maybe that that could be with the Ravens. Hey, you, okay now. Hey, you never know. You never know. But I would love to see him in a more pass heavy scheme. Um, or just a scheme where he's running less. And the run game was again, it will still be there. But I, I would just love to see him airing that thing out. And airing that thing out to um to guys who are already established and like that. And, again, that's no offense to the, the Ravens guys. They just got to make a name for themselves. And this could be their year to do that, depending on how things are schemed up and how things are executed. But I would love to see that. And I really think that there will be a lot of people that would flock even more. No pun intended with the whole flock thing. And the last question on this episode came from my guy, Les. He said, life after Lamar. Oh, Subway Engraven, hope all is well with you and the family. With all the speculation about Lamar Jackson and his contract situation, it makes me wonder what will happen if he does end up leaving the Baltimore Ravens. A few months ago, I'd have thought it was unlikely, but at the time of this email with the contract situation still not sorted out, who knows what's going to happen? If the Ravens do decide that they are not going to extend his contract and they decide to look elsewhere for a new starting quarterback, what kind of quarterback do you think the Ravens would have in mind? Would the Ravens look at a dual threat quarterback in the draft? I think the Ravens would look at a quarterback that they already have on the roster and Tyler Huntley. Um, they know Tyler Huntley. They obviously like Tyler Huntley. Uh, Tyler Huntley would be a lot cheaper than Lamar. Um, but I think that they would look to him first. Um, but if it wasn't going to be Tyler Huntley, then I, I think it would be, I think it would still be a dual threat type of quarterback. Uh, because the Ravens, if you think about it, the Ravens have been sort of looking for this dual threat quarterback for a long time. I uh, remember Troy Smith. I uh, remember uh, Tyrod Taylor. I uh, remember RG3. They even once at one point tried to sign Colin Kaepernick. They actually tried to sign RG3 twice. The first time they tried to sign RG3, he was like, no, no, I'm not ready. Then they're like, okay, cool. But then they circle back again, and they, then they sign RG3. So it seemed like the Ravens, they had the type of quarterback that they wanted to move forward with in mind. And then they finally had got it in Lamar Jackson. So I think a similar type of quarterback. That's what I think with Tyler Huntley. I think they will stick with him. And if they didn't stick with him, it will be a similar type of quarterback. Anyway, he said, if the Ravens botch this situation with Lamar Jackson, there will be fan backlash, no doubt. Do you think if this was the case, the organization would try to win back fan sentiment by looking to bring in an established top tier quarterback from another team? No, I don't. Uh, he said, I don't know about this myself as it depends what quarterbacks would be available that would be as good or better than Lamar. No, I don't think they would do that. Um, he said, if Lamar does go, do you think the Ravens will look at changing up their philosophy, possibly parting ways with Greg Roman and possibly even John Harbaugh if the Ravens fail to do anything significant in the postseason? No. Now, as far as John Harbaugh, no. I don't, I don't think anything will really change with John Harbaugh if Lamar were to leave. Um, as far as his status initially, it would just depend on what happened after that. Uh, with Greg Roman, I mean, I think he's going to go either way uh, after this year. Um, but we'll see. He said, much love and peace to all the team. Keep it clean. Appreciate that. Um, but I think as far as the fan backlash, like there, there would be backlash. There would be a lot of upset people. Um, but it would just be one of those things like for the business, the, the Ravens business, they know that eventually like people, there will be people that would never get over if the Ravens ever let Lamar walk. They will forever be upset, annoyed, angry, frustrated, all that good stuff, especially when Lamar left somewhere and had a lot of success. Uh, that will make it burn even more. But um, fans, they will, uh, fans would end up moving on because they would have no choice to. Uh, and I know there would be a lot of fans, oh, I'll never watch another Ravens game again. No, that, that wouldn't be the case. 
And there, there may be some that may do that for a little bit, just because of that initial anger. Um, and because there will be a lot of upset people. <laughs> there will be a lot of upset people if Lamar Jackson end up leaving. Um, but for me, I, I wouldn't be one of the people like, oh, man, I'm going to never watch a Ravens game again. No, I'm going to still watch every Ravens game, but I'm going to be watching every Lamar game, too. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Like